Okay, here's what we're going to do. We are going to talk about some of the very, very basics of binary. Number systems are important, and it's very helpful to understand how they work. And binary is just another number system, just like the one that you've gotten used to because you've used it your whole life. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the number system that you have used your whole life, which is decimal. And in decimal, you've got a number. Let's take a number and let's call it 5,280. And 5,280 is just one way of representing a number. And it's the way that you typically represent numbers in decimal. And all that is, is a representation using different places. And you learn this way back in elementary school. You've got here, you've got the ones place, and then you've got the tens place, and the hundreds, and the thousands. And the ones place is actually 10 to the zero power. We're using decimal, which is a base 10 number system, and 10 to the zero power is one, so that is the first digit. The second, the tens place, is 10 to the first power. The hundreds place is 10 to the second power. And the thousands place is 10 to the third power. If we kept going, it would keep going. And that's exactly how it works. You've got numbers represented by their powers there. And so all we have here is 0 times 10 to the 0th power plus 8 times 10 to the first power plus 2 times 10 to the second power plus 5 times 10 to the third power. And that is 5,000 plus 200 plus 80 plus 0 is 5,200. And 80. And you're used to seeing this. You've seen this a hundred times. You know exactly how these numbers work. Well, binary is just another way of representing those exact same things. So let's look at what binary numbers look like. And binary numbers often come in bytes, which is eight bits. So let's start with a binary number that's eight bits. That's eight digits long. And we're going to say one, zero, one, one, zero, one, zero, one. That's eight bits. That is a binary number that fits in one byte. So let's look and figure out if we can figure out what that number means. And we're going to start here. And instead of base 10, like you would in a decimal number, you're going to start in base two. So we're going to have two to the zero power, two to the first power, two to the second power, to the third, to the fourth, to the fifth, the sixth and to the seventh power. So we know what those numbers are. They start at one. One's really easy. So this one represents the ones place. This represents the twos place. This represents four, eight, 16, 32, 64, and 128. You're gonna see those numbers over and over and over again. Anytime you're working with binary, especially when you're working with one byte, because that's the numbers that fit into one byte. And so all you have to do is add them up to convert a number from binary back into decimal. All you have to do is add them up. Here we've got our decimal representations. So if we do one times two to the zero power for this one, zero times two to the first power for that one, I'm not going to write out all the zeros from now on because that's zero. 1 times 2 to the second power, 0 times 2 to the third, 1 times 2 to the fourth, 1 times 2 to the fifth, 0 times 2 to the sixth, and 1 times 2 to the seventh, which means we've got 1 plus 2 to the first times 0 is 0, so we're going to cross that out. 2 to the second is 4, so 1 plus 4 plus two to the fourth is 16, plus two to the fifth is 32, plus two to the seventh is 128. And so our number here is 128 plus 32 plus 16 plus four plus one, which is, let's see, 20, 160 plus 20 is 181, 181.
And that is how we convert a binary number into a decimal number. One more simple example of something we might see would be one, 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 zero, zero, zero. And we're gonna go through the exact same process for this one, except for this one, let's go ahead and start at the left end over here instead of at the right end. So we know we have 128 plus 64 plus 32. So that's this bit, this bit, this bit, plus 16 plus eight. And that's the last two plus zeros the rest of the way out. And if we add all those numbers up, what we've got is 248. And that is how binary numbers work.